in the previous video we had created our greater cli and at the moment we are exactly where we had left we had dumped every single thing in our main function but now it's time to organize things a little better because at this point not only that everything is dumped and cluttered in the main function the code is not extensible at all and we cannot unit test our code as well so let's start off by organizing things in a much better way in general the the basic practice that we have in the go community is to organize our commands uh, command line uh, projects is under cmd under cmd we will create a another directory which will be called as the greeter because this is a root name of the root command that we execute so that's why it's greeter under greeter we will now have our directory as root and at the top again at the under greeter we will have another one created for greet so we have a directory structure like this so on, on the root we have cmd under cmd we have greeter which is the name of our actual cli and then we have a greet command we also have a root command next we what we do is we add some files to it so let's add root dot go now this is going to be our root package and what we are going to do let me split it this side and this here i'll keep root our main is here so we will start off by creating a function that is going to return our root command so let's name it as root command and this is going to return me a pointer to cobra dot command now we can simply dump our root command from here to this side let's add let's create cmd and this is our root command we will revisit this in just a minute so let's return cmd this is our root command which will be executed by the main function we will revisit it but in just a moment at this point let's comment this out or maybe we can remove it as well but let's keep it the next thing that we need to do is under greet we will create similar to root we will create greet.go which is going to be under greet package and just like earlier let's dump our greet command from here to the greet package again another function which is going to return a pointer to cobra dot command and in here we don't need to do much we can simply return read command all right so we need not worry about this at the moment it's all done now in the main function we have this root command dot add greet command which means we need to create that binding still so uh, we are yet to create that binding and that is why we are going to be adding greet command right here so we need to import our greet command how can we do that is fairly simple we have our package structure as greeter uh, in fact we did not name it very well it's called greeter so we can simply do by greeter slash cmd slash greeter and in here we should be able to get greet dot greet command all right so this is cmd and that's how we bind our greet command with the um, root command now in the main we can close this as well let's uncomment this what we can now do is we have root package which will give us the root command and and then what we can do is continue with the same functionality as we did before so now our code is a lot more organized we have 
can minimize the open editor and if you look at the structure we have greeter we have got uh, greet package separately we have a root and if you were to add more sub commands to it we will have another directory in where we will just create uh, this structure as in uh, where we will have this uh, another sub sub directory created for another sub command and we will just add that sub command to root as we did for greet just like this let's see if this compiles and if there are any issues so let me zoom in this a bit. We will run go mode tidy so that our packages are discovered properly and organized. Go mode will be updated. Go package will be updated as well. Um, now let's see if we can build it. All right, we can build it. So the build was successful. Let's try running it. Greeter. And we still get our output. And let's also run the greet command help, which is cool. And if you were to greet, let's say you want to greet Mike. Hello, Mike. So our command is still working. There is no issues with the command and we have now organized our project a lot better. In the next video, we will talk about how we can unit test and what are the issues at the moment. There is a little bit of issue with this functionality because it's not very much unit testable. We will write a unit test, make it fail, and then we will fix it. All right, so that's all for now. Thank you.